Among various cats, why lion is called king of jungle, let corporate know. Among numerous cats, solely lion is termed as king of jungle. Why only lion could earn the title? One need to understand the wonderful management insight. Why lion is taken into account or aforesaid to be as king of the jungle? The question could seem terribly dizzy and nonsensical because the person solely crowned the lion as king of the jungle and none of the animals could also be even aware of such coronation event. Interestingly, even the lion itself might not understand such title has been presented to him. When was such initiation event had happened isn't known. Why the tiger wasn't thought about for the title of the king, despite tiger being the most important among all the cats. What is so unique or special for lion? Perhaps, the good management principle and reason solely would have created the first man to title the lion as king of jungle. The point price mention is concerning the shrewd management information of early man and the way relevant a similar is even nowadays. The modern company should learn and follow the higher than tenets. What square measure the widely expected or accepted qualities of a king? 1. King should be very majestic and distinguishable from the rest. 2. King should respect and protect his clan. 3. The entire clan should be willing to do sacrifice for the king. 4. The palace where king lives should be very open and visible to others even from a distance. 5. King should be willing to abdicate his throne to a new king when he becomes old lion may be a sexually polymorphism animal whereas the tiger isn't. The gait and mane of a matured lion offers an august and majestic look to that and such distinguishable options don't seem to be gift in tiger. The corporate should always carry terribly distinguishable and noteworthy qualities or values within the marketplace. The organization should be known for its ethics. The second management principle to be learned from the higher than by the company is that the lion protects all the members of the pride from alternative lions and it tolerates all the members of the pride additionally. This philosophy of valuing and protective the staff, the corporate must inculcate and follow. The third management principle is that everyone the members of the pride can with patience look forward to the lion to possess its share solely then they approach the meal. Natural temperament for sacrifice is born only if there's real respect and recognition. The lion lives in open country. It ne'er follows the searching strategy of ambush, like tiger. The message to be learned by the company during this regard is that they must conduct themselves during a very reasonable and open manner. Transparency ought to be understood and followed by them in letter and spirit. The last and therefore the most vital management principle is that the lion once loses its dominance, retreat and the new king gets the throne. The message it conveys is that the company should vacate its expired beliefs and renew them as and once needed. If they continue to be firm with what they believe is correct. Growth and development become impossible. Adaptation and formation of latest generation perpetually require abdication of bound beliefs and values.